What's going on, everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. So finally, after a long wait, Samsung has officially started rolling out the One UI Watch 6 update for the Galaxy Watch 4 series, after the 5 and 6 series. So right now, this is my Galaxy Watch 4 running on One UI 5 Watch, based on Wear OS 4. Now simply head over to Settings. Go to Software Update. Tap on Download and Install. Also make sure to have stable internet connection. And there we go, finally. In this update, they have made numerous improvements and new visual enhancements, new watch faces. They also integrated Galaxy AI to monitor your energy levels and health tracking. You can create own workouts. And there are a number of other changes in this that I cover in this video. All right, it starts downloading the update. The update size is 1.8 gigs. Additionally, ensure that your watch is to at least 50% battery charged. All right, download is done. Now it begins to copy the package file. Now tap on Install Now. The update process typically takes around 15 to 20 minutes to the watch. All right, the Galaxy Watch 4 has now been updated to the latest One UI 6 Watch OS. Right now, you'll notice a lot of improvements and the new refined design, new dynamic clock face. If we scroll to right, here the watch widget shortcuts got with new refined design. Compared to the old one UI 5, the UI feels so sleek and smooth. The control panel has been completely redesigned, featuring white icons with a complete transparent background. The menu appears to be the same as usual from UI 5. However, this update feels significantly smoother when compared to version 5. Now let's head over to Settings. To About Watch. Let's check its software information. All right, so right now you can see this watch is running on the latest One UI 6, based on the Google's latest Wear OS 5, and the system version is 14. Obviously, it runs on the Android 14 core, with the latest Android security patch. There are some top new features and improvements I'll cover in this video. Now let's first start with Battery of the Galaxy Watch. So in this update, they added new battery limit option limit health features for longer usage time. When power saving mode is on, it turns off several features like Wi-Fi, always on display, wake up gesture, and limits some functions like the watch's CPU performance, background network usage, location, syncing, brightness, screen timeout. You can also look at the battery usage stats of apps. Battery life can also be extended by putting apps to sleep, similar to the functionality available on phones. And there is an auto power on feature, and it automatically turns on watch while charging. It's like a fresh restart. There is a watch only feature that allows a basic watch to display the time only, enabling it to last for approximately 30 days. This means that all the core functions of the watch stop working, except for the clock. The next feature in workouts, they added new workout option, allowing you to create your own custom workout routines and exercises. You can set your own exercises, and they've included custom options to enable warm-ups and cool-downs. In this update, they have introduced new dynamic watch, featuring spatial numbers that allow users to set custom backgrounds, colors, and customize clock. A simple digital clock face features a clean design that allows you to focus on the time. Please choose the clock face and set it. And the Ultra Info board face prominently displays your health, more advanced complications than ever before. You can set up to seven for the ultimate information at a glance. Additionally, there is a live animated watch face as they have updated the friend's watch face. Let's move on the next new feature. In buttons and gestures, they added a double pinch gesture. With this gesture, you can calls, dismiss alerts, and you can take pictures as well. Let's try it out. Just tap your index finger and thumb together twice like this. So here I am getting a call, and what I do now is to use this gesture to attend the call. Right! So if you want to reject call, use the same gesture again. It'll dismiss, that's it. There is a knock-knock gesture that allows to add or a shortcut for accessing various applications.
For instance, you add a calculator or any other app of your choice. Now try this gesture. Okay, I'll use this gesture to directly access and opens up calculator. In the same way, you can add other apps or shortcuts of your choice. Additionally, there is a shake to dismiss. With this gesture, you can dismiss calls, alarms timers, and reminders. Simply I'll attend the call with pinch gesture. Now use shake gesture to dismiss, that's it. Let's move on to the next one. Go to settings, to modes. A new option has been added sync modes directly with your phone. The modes you use on your phone or watch will now be synced. In notifications, they have added the option to mute notifications on the phone using the watch without needing to access the phone. You also customize the notifications according to your activity. And in widget shortcuts, they improved and redesigned the weather widget. Simply hold and edit widget. Here, you can customize the widget statistics, including precipitation, humidity daily forecast, insights, and other parameters. So I'll add this one. And there we go. And it's very in detailed. They have also redesigned the devices panel, which it displays my phone battery and watch, or if you connect to Galaxy Buds, it'll shows up here. In Galaxy Health app, a new feature has been added to monitor energy levels, fully integrated with Galaxy AI, which computes the energy score within the Samsung Health app. This also takes into account age and gender when determining your energy score. One UI Watch 6 update truly revitalizes the Galaxy Watch 4, transforming it into what feels like a brand new device. With enhanced performance, exciting new features, and a sleek updated design. So much to appreciate about this update. That's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to RGB Tech for more stuff. And as always, let us know your thoughts on the new One UI 6 update in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.